Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I want to share with you a first option and a cool way of posing your character or object you made in ZBrush. So I'm going to use uh, this model that I I have tutorials from beginning of my channel. So you just need to go to Z plugin. You can leave it like this or you can drag it here. And as you can see, we have multiple sub tools. So it doesn't matter on which one you are. We are going to go to T pose and let's create a low res mesh and we can work with the post and we're going to wait to calculate and prepare the model. The post mesh complete. Now as you can see we are on low poly model but we are still have the high res over here with all the subtools and also you can see the low poly model has all the subtool in just one because we see the difference of poly this one has high res and the main mesh low res so now we just to go to let's say rotate and I do not have symmetry but I can press X and create one and just press ctrl and drag your mask as you can see the sub tool does not affect this so we're going to press ctrl alt and unmask this by going back to Q and by pressing Ctrl we going to and left click we going to smooth a bit our mask. Now simply let's move but let's press R to rotate and just move our hands something like this. We can add more smooth. We can also use move brush. I don't know, something like this. It's a mask and let's press X. So we're going to eliminate symmetry. Press R, control. Something like this, and let's Ctrl Alt and unmask horns and eyes. Again, Ctrl to smooth out. Maybe it's too much. Now let's go to R. Let's move by pressing Alt. We can unlock this one and move the gizmo. And just. As you can see, that's a little bit of mask. So let's just move this. We can move this leg. Why <laughs> not? Something like a pose for culturism <laughs> anyway you got the idea so as you can see I made a mistake with this one so let's press ctrl z the mistake is that this were masked Obviously, you need to be more patient and okay. Now, after your pose is done, you just need to go and press T pose subtool. 
we go into it uh, ZBrush to make his busy as you can see he's calculating the new pose and is moving every sub tool in his place this is awesome and that's it took 15 seconds to move your new pose to high poly mesh as you can see we have great detail move in place also we can go to each sub tool and you can see the history so i think this is a great option to pose your character in uh, in zebra hope you find this video helpful thank you for watching give it a like and see you next time